All right, I did another reading, another collective reading, gentle reading. This first card you got was the snake. This is about living up to your full potential. On tapping something that's inside of you that brings you to your greatest self that you can be. Uh, also focusing on creative projects so you can tap into that. Something's blocking you from being able to fully focus on what you're trying to do and it's wanting you to just kind of let that go and not, you know, not pay attention too much to it. The past card I got was the Emperor. So this is you attempting to be your own boss and it was working. You were self-sufficient. You were taking control. You were making your own life and going on your own path and you were close to getting that what exactly what you wanted that could be a child that is another thing i've got the emperor and the empress card on this reading and that is a father and mother so if you were waiting maybe um and you were finally feeling like you were taking control of finally getting her pregnant or finally settling down on something and 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 getting what you needed that's a little bit of a message. I definitely lean more towards working towards making your own money, being your own boss, starting your own things, new clothing line, new music line, new job, new company, new anything. Anything new that you were you were building up to and you were taking control of it and being your own self. But uh, there was a lot of pain that was associated with this. A lot of stabs, a bunch of them, just over and over and over and over again. It was it was hard for you. You felt defeated. You felt like, why should I even try anymore? Very stressful, very stressful. These are both very stressed out people on these cards here. And he's in pain from emotional pain could be a thing or really any sort of pains and setbacks that have happened from this situation it's added on and you are starting to feel like you should just move on from the situation in the past you were just wanting to you you didn't want to deal with it anymore um, especially if this is about a commitment. I, for some reason, I'm very focused on her ring here. It's not on her ring finger, but when you see ring, you think of, um, you know, commitment. It, it's caused a lot, and um, it, it's been hard for you. Now, the present I got is options. Options, options, options. What am I focusing on? Am I focusing on love? Am I focusing on work? We got this card yesterday as well, so... If that resonated with you and this resonates with you, spirit guides are definitely trying to tell you something. Maybe you want to focus on the new baby, new relationship, new anything to do with love, really. You want to focus on that, but you also want to focus on your skill set, on delivering yourself to these new projects and just creating the new things that you want to create. You want to focus on that so bad, but there's also that other side of your life that's happening too. So it's really hard. And I think what is going to help you is definitely, I get switch it up. So if you've been doing the same thing all the time and you're wondering why I'm not getting recognized and your guard's starting to go up and you're starting to feel a little down about it, Switch it up. Do something new. Um, create different types of projects, but in your own creative, artistic way or, you know, surrounding yourself with with that energy too and that could be surrounding yourself with the people like-minded people that could be surrounding you if you're like focusing on making music or something um, focusing on 
uh, becoming <laughs> famous because or focusing on work or focusing on that yeah, you need to put like-minded people around you and not focus on if there is especially if it's a lover this reading really says don't focus on that just don't and focus on on yourself and your goals that's what you need to focus on releasing that pain from the past that happened from from you finally getting what you need to get and then there was that setback happening releasing that um pretty much you know letting yourself kind of move on from the situation instead of focusing super hard on it and that's taking up your time you know there's the, the snake card talks about no time to waste so definitely try to focus on the better things that will actually bring you to self-sufficiency you do end up self-sufficient either way i mean either way self-sufficiency happens and and uh, you you can provide for yourself you don't really need anybody but this is something you really want for sure this is something you really really want what you're having a hard time with is receiving news about the situation maybe you're waiting you're waiting to hear back but you feel like there's so much competition around you. It's making you feel conflicted and a little, um, you know, down about it. You don't feel like you're being very recognized. And that could be from a lover. That could be from your boss. That could be from the creative projects that you've been trying to put out there. It's, it's or whatever you're passionate towards that you're trying to put out there. You're, you're not receiving as much as you actually want, and that is frustrating you, and you're, you're waiting for it to come fast, and you're trying to decide, should I even focus on this anymore? Should I focus on just my love? No. <laughs> this reading says no. Tarot wants me to tell you no. Don't. Uh, you are getting there. It's just you need to have patience with yourself. This card is also a lot about creating things, um, but also staying quiet and I'll explain the staying quiet part, why that part speaks to me in a second, but also patience. So have patience with yourself. The news is coming and soon, you know, you'll start to see things clearly and, and realize the wait was worth it. The patience was worth it. The hard work was worth it. If you are battling between maybe um, you just recently became a father or a mother and you're battling, you were, you were building up something that was going to create a lot of money for yourself, you know, I would just try to split up your time, but I know how hard it is as a mom. I mean, I don't have kids, but definitely I, I know a lot of people that do and it, it's hard to split up your time like that. But uh, if you try and just do one piece at a time, even though it might take a while and you might be waiting a while for that to happen, it's going to um, pay off for sure. Yeah. Uh, you have the inner strength to get through this. This mess, there's also another message that came up. And this is about the Seven of Challenges and the Ace of Cups. So that is not letting new people in your life that come into your life, new lovers that come into your life, take too much time away from you. Don't let them take too much. They could be taking too much mentally. They could be taking too much emotionally. But whether it is, whatever it is, it's distracting you from your real goal. Obviously, if you have a kid, pay attention to your kid. <laughs> but I think this is speaking more about a lover. Um definitely and especially if it's a past lover i don't know where that card went but it was out here um it was the six of cups so if there is a past lover that is also coming back into your life maybe offering you an apology i'm so sorry it warns me that they don't want a new start they want something from you that is not okay and that could be just somebody that's a little narcissistic that's wanting to take more away from you because that's just what they feed off of. That could be um, somebody literally being deceptive towards you, just wanting sex, just wanting this, just wanting that. Don't let them do that to you. 
the tarot cards definitely uh, speak about that, especially if you're a mother. And I think you're going to, I think you're the, through this whole thing that you're, you're just going to have so much strength and see so clearly that you're going to be like, no, and you're going to tap into your full potential on whatever the situation is, maybe full potential of being a mother. And maybe the baby daddy's trying to come back into your life and you're just, no, and don't, you know, uh, unless they're being genuine and they're really wanting to be there. That's, that's a big thing with this reading. You have so much potential in whatever you're trying to do. And uh, I think you really, really should follow, follow that, follow your goals. If this reading is speaking to me about anything more, it is definitely focusing on yourself more than um, the pain that you're needing to get over from this situation. Focusing on you and your kid. Focusing on um, your new job, your new projects, your new whatever. Just focusing on that and not focusing on things that drag you down and add to that pain. That is a huge, huge thing. Um, So, yeah, this is definitely something that you've been wishing for. That's for sure. This is something that you, uh, you've you been dreaming about. And if it happens, but it does take a lot of time. So don't lose hope because it's going to happen. There's going to be waiting, but it's going to happen. The cards I'm getting a lot, big one is Aries. Um, Pisces, for sure. Virgo. Uh, Gemini, Libra, I don't know if I said Leo, but Leo, big time, um, Major Arcana came out on that one, and um, Cancer as well, so, all right, don't pay too much attention to the signs, that doesn't always mean that it, that, that is your situation or that is not, that is just um, if it clicks or sticks out to you, you should just pay attention. All right, you guys have a good night.